Hello to all of you beautiful, amazing souls. If you're new around here, hi, my name's Evie. If not, then welcome back to my channel. This week's video is going to be a cool one. So I recently, now by recently I mean yesterday, realised I now have a new paracosm. I don't know how I feel about this. Um... I don't know, it's too soon to tell how I feel about having a new paracosm, um, but it wasn't formed yesterday, it's just I realised that these sets of scenarios and timelines weren't attached to my current paracosm. I thought it would be a good idea to share my experience in this birth of the new paracosm and just like go through what actually happened to for this to be created and just share my own experience now again I have to mention this but disclaimer this is my experience so this I don't speak for everyone who maladaptive daydreams I'm just sharing my experience for like you know educational purposes okay so the birth of this paracosm I have to take everyone back to the start of the year now I don't know when specifically I started daydreaming about um, them or this happened but a rough estimate start of the year we're gonna we're gonna say January because it was around January February time when I started daydreaming about these new sets of paras now when I started first daydreaming about them it was there were seven of them and it was it it wasn't like They weren't really paras. They were just... When I was daydreaming about it, it was like I was daydreaming about a group of humans, like... Or like a blur of humans. They... None of them had very stable personalities and... They didn't have strong identities and beliefs and... They didn't have proper ages or names. They just were a blur of people, a group of people. They they weren't really anything on their own other than just a group of people and there were seven of them. As time went on and I was daydreaming about them more often, they developed into humans with identities and personalities and things like that. And they also went down to six of them. No, five of them. There were five of them. I'm getting mixed up. So after about three months of daydreaming about them, they turned into proper, well-developed paras. And they went from seven to five. When I would specifically daydream about these paras at the very start, I could incorporate them into my... into the current paracosm that I had. Um... But it would seem like when I was going into my paracosm, and it wasn't to specifically daydream about these paras, they weren't there. And I wasn't able, like, they just weren't there. Their existence was irrelevant to, the, to what I was daydreaming about, unless I was specifically going into daydream about them. At first, I thought it, this was because they were new, and because they weren't, you know, they didn't have proper personalities or... The backgrounds and storylines were a bit fuzzy. I, I thought that that's why when I was going into my paracosm they weren't there or being mentioned by other paras. Like their existence was completely wiped off the face of the earth when I wasn't specifically daydreaming about them. But again, when I was actively daydreaming about them and purposefully daydreaming about them, it was like... I, I could incorporate them into my paracosm, if I'm making any sense at this point. Now, I was... I... First of all, I thought for a very long time, like a couple of months, that I was in a daydream block. Because the only daydreams I could have were about this group of people. And I was like daydreaming about their past and things like that but I couldn't daydream about my main paras in my paracosm I couldn't do it and I thought it was it was really weird 
because I could easily daydream about these powers these new powers and I was you know I spent this time developing um, their personality and like learning about them and learning about their past but I couldn't daydream about my main powers and I thought I was in a daydream block over time it started getting more difficult to actually put these powers these new powers into my paracosm and incorporating their past into my paracosm. I was trying to incorporate major time, like major events that happened in my paracosm's timeline into the histories of these new powers, but I couldn't and it wasn't working and I, it started to, like, the history of my new powers, like, major events started happening in the history of my powers that were affecting my parami and their, and my parami's timeline as well. So major events would happen into, in the history of these new powers, and it was something that happened to the whole group, so it wasn't something that just happened to my new powers, it also happened to my parami. But when I would try and put that major event into my paracosm, it wasn't working. And I couldn't put major events from this paracosm into the history of my paramis. I mean, my, my parami and my new powers. Another major thing I noticed was my parami and how I felt when I was daydreaming and who I was identifying as, like, who I felt like as a person when I was daydreaming as my parami, when I was daydreaming about them versus when I was daydreaming about my main paras and my paracosm was that I felt different. I didn't feel the same. And the atmosphere about the daydreams and how I was, my opinions and stuff, my parami's opinions on things were slightly different. It was, it was... It was odd, to say the least. And I spent so long thinking I was in a daydream block because I was trying to daydream about these new paras in a paracosm that they didn't belong in. And I was trying to put them in my paracosm and it wasn't working. And I thought that that was because I was in a daydream block. I was trying to mix paras from this paracosm with my new paras and it wasn't working because they are not meant to be together and that was when I realized I now have a new paracosm. These paras, these new paras don't belong with my old paras because they're two completely different paracosms now. It, it was almost like when they were just, you know, a fuzzy ball of humans, they didn't have backstories yet. But when I started exploring that, I started to realize that their histories didn't match what was happening in my first paracosm. And so I started to kind of realize that they didn't fit. Therefore, I stopped being able to daydream about them in my first paracosm. It's also interesting because I didn't choose their past. Okay, I was actively trying to make their their past match my first paracosms. I was try actively trying to do that because I wanted them to be part of that paracosm and I couldn't. I just couldn't. Like they they came with their own history and it was like when they were a ball of fuzzy humans, they had already, you know, they they were who they are. But the problem was I hadn't actually I hadn't gone and explored that myself and it it sounds weird to somebody who doesn't have maladaptive daydreaming or who doesn't like maladaptive daydream but I wasn't choosing their history okay it's like the history chose them the, they came with the history I just hadn't explored it yet now this is this doesn't happen very often the birth of a new paracosm um, now for me personally, I I only have one 
paracosm. I know in the past I've mentioned that I have more than one paracosm, but now that I've like revealed that I have DID, that gets a bit more complicated. Me as who I am, 11, I had one paracosm, but now I feel like I have two. Oh gosh, the birth of a new paracosm. I mean, I've just created a whole other universe in my head and a whole set of like new humans. Oh gosh. How is it that this can be in my brain and I somehow can't remember what day of the like week it is? Or remember basic things? It just blows my mind that I can, yeah. There you are. There's my story of, um, how I created a new paracosm. But I just, if you really take a look at this, like, I had no control over this. I wasn't actively trying to make a new paracosm. I know there are people who do try and make new paracosms, um, and are successful in it, and, but this, in this circumstance, it, it really shows how on occasions how our paracosms and our paras literally have a life on their, of their own and we don't have complete control over it. Um, <laughs> you definitely can have control over it sometimes, but there are times when you don't. Anyway, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I hope you were able to connect. And I'm curious, do you have like a story on the birth of a paracosm for you and I also want to know how many paracosms you have and how different they are to each other and like always stay unique